How's it going, folks? Welcome back to the Nightmare Cabin. I'm kicking out the content at the moment. Um, right, the reason I started doing this YouTube channel and the reason I got into writing reviews and interviews and tried, you know, getting somewhere as a, in the music world as a uh, journalist, I suppose, if you want to say that, um, I really love... I, I want to point out bands and albums that you think you that I think you might have missed. Uh, my biggest buzz is oh, when someone says to me, I started listening to that album because of you. I saw that review, or is you that got me into that band? So that's my that's my you know what what I do this for, and um, I love introducing bands to people that yeah that they they would have otherwise missed, and um, I love pointing out the underrated, the um, the overlooked gem. And I'll review other albums so people can kind of see where I'm at. So then they'll go, well, I agree with him on this. Or if he likes this, or if that's his favourite album and that's my favourite album, I'm probably going to like this if he says it's underrated. So you see where I'm coming from. And um, video, so this is an important video because it's, this is the reason I do this YouTube channel because I'm going to tell you about a band. Now, it looks to me like this band's actually pretty big, but I'm obviously not got my finger on the pulse the way I used to. So... I made an amazing discovery the other night. This band has completely blown me away. Um, I went to see Paul Diano the other night for the third time this year. Um, it was a sold-out show at the Underworld. And uh, there was two support groups. The first one was pretty good. Um, I can't remember their name. Electric Gypsy, I think it was. Good band, just um, what wasn't ultimately for me. But they were good at what they did. It was kind of like a classic rock. But then the second band come on, and this was Nocturnal. And I had never heard of them. Did not know them from Adam. Didn't know a single thing about them. And this band blew me away. The um, There were four pieces from Brazil. Um, all four musicians were impeccable. You had an amazing drummer. He had this big Neil Peart uh, drum kit. Huge, considering the club he was in. The guitarist was an absolute shredder, a virtuoso. The bass player had this big six-string bass. He was awesome. And the singer was awesome as well. He had a clean, melodic vocals. A little bit of screaming here and there, but mainly clean. They had excellent chemistry. And it was everything I want from a... Musically, everything I want from a modern metal band. Like from a metal album or metal band or whatever. Think, think the golden age of Queensryche with a thrash metal injection. Just a, little, like a nice shot, adrenaline shot in the arm. Classic Queen's right with a, yeah, adrenaline shot. Um, they're a little widdly widdly in places. I did list check out this album. Um, so, yeah, let me get back. I got ahead of myself. So, I watched this band set and went straight to the merchandise stand. And I bought the new album. Uh, this is Cosmic Redemption. This album actually came out this year. So, I'm going to be... Um, I've only listened to it for the first time today. Obviously, excuse me. I went to this gig, went to work the next day. I've got up today. I do 12 hour shifts. Last night I did Maiden Cast. Um, and I'm actually back at work tonight. So I'm only managing to listen to this CD for the first time today. But awesome. I recognize some of the songs um, from the first listen. As you can see, I went to the merch site. I'll tell you about that afterwards, though. Um, and I got it signed. But yeah, classic, that's the best way I can do it. Melo classic melodic metal with technical thrash metal um, leanings here and there. You could say death metal as well. Think but think more of a te the technical side of it. Think later death, maybe. Um, what's that band called? Technical death. Technical death metal leanings, but I wouldn't say go so far as technical death metal. But you could, you can tell they're clearly influenced by your Gene Hoglands, George Collius. Think uh, Control Denied, Chuck Sheldina's Control Denied, maybe something like that. But um, so there's a def technical death metal influence in there, but it's yeah, it's much more classic metal in that way. But, um, but yeah, awesome artwork there on the inner book. We got photos of the band all the way through, but yeah, it's been years. I can't remember the last time. I'm 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 approaching forty and I'm getting jaded at the moment. And um, yeah, I 
I kind of I'm getting to that point now where I I I know what I like and whatever. I'm I don't really get into new bands and I'm becoming an old man that shouts at the clouds. But um it's been a long long time since I've gone to a gig and just got watched a support band with a blank slate and went wow I'm a fan. So I went to the merch stand and bought what I could, but over the next couple of months, I'm going to be buying this band's back catalogue. And yeah, I'm going to... I'll, look, I only listened to it once this morning, but I'll, I'll probably do a review of this before the end of the year. And this is... Yeah, this came out this year. So this is in a contender for album of the year, definitely. So, yep, yeah, I bought a new album, Cosmic Redemption. And I also picked up this uh, really cool box set here, which is uh, Cosmic Live. And um, this is... Four, well, it's three CDs and a DVD, and you get four separate concerts. Um, one in Curi Curitiba. I can't pronounce that, sorry. And I'm not the best uh, at geography. One in Sao Paulo. Uh, one in Nova Friburgo. And one in Russia. So, yeah. Anyway, I went to the merch stand after Paul's set and um, I, I managed to chat to the band briefly. They seemed to be doing really well. They were happy to talk. They were signing things for people, talking to people. Super, super nice guys as well. But yeah, they managed to sign everything for me. And uh, I'm just going to have a look at this for you. So... And like I say, you got three CDs and a DVD. And uh, on their merch stand, this was uh, twenty pounds, which is a bargain. And I picked up the CD for a tenner. And yeah, like I say, I had a quick chat with the guys. They gave me a poster, which I've given to my son. That's in his bedroom. But they gave me a couple of pics. And uh, yep, yeah, they even gave me a sticker, which I'm now gonna put behind me here. If I can get the back off, but yeah, they 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 had everything. There you go. Um, yeah, they just had everything you wanted. There was, I would say, uh, after listening to this CD, that you um, they get a bit widdly widdly in places, but it wasn't that that would normally be off putting for me, but it wasn't with this. So think um, Halloween or Dragon Force. To me, those bands are like a cup of coffee with 10 sugars in. Uh, it's a little too too melodic, a bit too sickly sweet. There's leanings towards a bit of Dragon Force and maybe a bit of Halloween in there, but it wasn't off-putting to me. It didn't take anything off the edge. And, um, yeah, I'm really excited about discovering this band. And um, I'll be, gonna be burning this CD now so I can stick it on my phone so I can listen to it at work tonight. But, yeah... This band is fantastic, and you've got to go listen to them. They are essential. This is uh, awesome stuff. And but then again, I look into them, and it looks like they've been they've been going a hell of a lot longer than I thought they were. But yeah, they've got songs here. Uh, you got Mike Portnoy. Apparently, Mike. I looked on their uh, site. Apparently, Mike Portnoy did a bit of live drumming with them. But you've got songs here that feature James Labrie from Dream Theater. There's songs here that feature Mike Portnoy on drums. Uh, David Alefson from Megadeth is on there. So yeah, it looks like these guys, I'm just late to the party by the looks of it. But like I say, I hadn't heard any of them before, but they were awesome, awesome band and really, really nice guys. And it was really nice as well because they said nice things about England. The singer come out with a Union Jack on his T-shirt and um, he said, you know, this is a beautiful country. You're really nice people. You've you've invented so much. You invented heavy metal and and football and it was just really nice to have someone come over and actually say something nice about the country because everyone is giving us a kick in at the moment but that's a political issue that um this is a music channel we ain't got to get into that but it was just it was a breath of fresh air hearing that so um yeah they're on tour at the moment i highly recommend you go watch them and um and go check out the music if you can um it in the description, I'm going to put their Metal Archives page. So then when you go on the links, you've got the YouTube page, Facebook, and all the other social media stuff. I'll put that in the description below. So definitely check this band out. 
And uh, yeah, what can I say? Brazil does it again. They 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 love their metal out there. And um, the uh, I've got to go there one day because it sounds like it's awesome. So <laughs> yeah, Nocturnal. Definitely worth your time. Definitely worth checking out. Go watch them. So let me go check them out and let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you all soon. Thanks.